How fast can we build a beaver colony in Timberborn? Okay, as you can see there, there's all our beavers here and let's start building. We need to lay out the property and also where are all our pumps and all of our log storage and other storage units can go. Now as you can see there, we're just placing our water, like that. Now we're placing our warehouses, like that. Yes, yes. Moving right along, same with our small water tanks. All of those are placed. Okay. Now we can go over and search for our lumberjack flags, like that. We can install those there, and I said there, come on. Here we go. That looks good. Now, we have all our properties selected, let's start building. Just like that, we have a few buildings built. Now we can add another lumberjack flag for the wood specialties we need. So if you've never seen this, literally just place a path like that. So we go over to housing, which is not correct. No, 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 we go over to wood. Here we go. Then we just rotate, place it on the map, where all our beavers can get to it pretty easily on the paths. Now we go over to cut trees, we place there, and we just lick and drag. Now our beavers know what to cut down and what to leave alone. Cause you have to leave some trees every once in a while that need to grow back so you leave the seedlings and let the big trees be cut down next to the seedlings sometimes you leave a big tree but for our application today is just speed and speed is good. Okay now we selected all our water storage to be water storage cause that's important we have small tanks here. Okay, let's see. Now we're gonna add some more paths over here, like that. That's good. We're gonna move the long path up here, where our houses are being built, like that. Now I see our beavers are already building our houses, which is beautiful to see. Now, we have the path up to the houses, like that, and that. I didn't like to step out what the map has created, but it's fine. Our water here, we're gonna add some dam pieces over here and watch those get built. We have to start here, click and drag, there we go. And we also have to add our path so our beavers know where to go. And also be safe. As you see there, our house is getting built right along, that's good. This path over all of this, that's good. We're gonna of course low prioritize all of these because they don't need to get built just yet. We're rather focusing on houses, we do that on high priority. Next we add some more trees to be cut, like that, I think that's fine. Next we just look at our beautiful beaver colony and see where we are with our houses. They are getting built right along. Okay, so we have 12 beds occupied and we have 12 beavers so that's good as you see there all the houses got built that's fantastic and now we're really starting to push into building our wonderful garden where we plant our food now that's of course going to be done via a farmhouse like that that's of course a smart idea for a beginning of the game i would recommend if you play this game i'll do that that way of course we're going to add some more crops do all the usual farmer stuff. You're gonna do half of it as crops, and the other half you'll just have to wait and see. There's some important stuff we're going. Add some more trees to be cut like that and that. Of course, strip cutting is always good. Now the fun starts. Wonderful water wheel in place to provide some power for the lumber mill. Now here is where it's gonna get real fun because we're adding a forester. Awesome. Yes, so we can plant our own trees. That was the surprise. That's why we kept one side to be plants and the other side to be trees. Because tree cutting is important. And also beavers can breathe better with oxygen. <laughs> I always like to tell myself that. Okay. Two rows of pine, the others are gonna be birch. So that's good. I like to see that. Okay, and just like that. That's good maple there and I said pine now we're doing birch birch is important because it's small trees you can cut down rather easily and they grow back quite quickly I see we have to hurry up a little bit because we've got a dry season coming that is scary <laughs> knowing this game is gonna be a 
hopefully a short one. And I know as more we progress in this game, you start getting into some long dry seasons. They get a big problem now. See our storage is set up very very good. Our plants are growing very very good. I'm happy about that. And we just start not dry season. Bugger. That's annoying. Well, we have to limit these and go down to just one. That's good. And our dry season is passed. Now well, let's watch the water rejuvenate the land and watch everything grow again. Because that's always beautiful to me. Speaking of beautiful, I would love for you to, just, to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, of course, ring that notification bell, do all the YouTube stuff, because that helps the channel grow. And if you'd like to see more of this, do that. Thank you. Now let's get all the YouTube stuff out of the way. <laughs> so this is going to be our future plan. If you guys want to see another episode, do let me know. This is called future proofing if we do that this way. Now, we're going to buy the platforms for 100 science points. That's why we have so many of them. we add more to that. Okay, and now we're going to add some staircase. Because that's always important. Wooden stairs. It's actually a staircase, but you know, this game likes to be what it is fun. <laughs> this, of course, is going to be all for future proofing. We're going to add a path down there, and like that, and then way up there. Because we've got some special things we need to do up there. It's going to be real important if we don't. Add another path there, so that the platform. You go over the platform over the platform. Oh, oh, English. Hard to speak sometimes. And yes, this is going to be the power industry. This is where all our industry will go. Like that. Beautiful. Of course, going to level the land there and there. And also, we have got a river that flows very, very strong. Because it flows downhill. That's why I placed it there. <laughs> Look at CS20. He's a little shocked today. <laughs> awesome. Now, it adds some uh, industry to this, so I want the gearbox shop, but not enough science just yet. So we'll do more lumber mills like that, and that's pretty much what we're gonna have for here now. Of course these are gonna all be low priority because our log and planks would not survive if we don't have enough of them. But anyways guys, it only took 30 minutes to do this, but you're seeing it in 8 minutes, so thank you so much for watching, if you do like this, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.